God is the keeper of my soul. Let the church say amen. 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 I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We give God praise for the life and the witness of our brother, Rayshard Brooks. First of all, I want to give honor to God. I want to give honor to God because he's the leader and he knows everything before it even happens. I'm not much of a speaker, but I am gonna say this. I wanna thank everybody who supported the Brooks family, Tamika, my daughter, my grandkids. From the depths of my heart, I really thank you guys. Rashad <laughs> gave me the honor, not just to be a mother-in-law, but a mom. He never called me mother-in-law. This is my mother-in-law. He always took me as mom, and I always took him as son. I never called him Rashad. I called him my son, because that's what he were to me. And he still is in my heart, my son. Rashad took care of his family. Like any other man, young man I hear could do especially with the time and the situations that's happening now with the COVID and the jobs that's less and the church is not opening right now because, but he tried to do what he could do and he did a good job. I'm gonna say something very funny because right now I think all of us need a smile on our faces. Me and Rashad used to have barbecue challenges. <laughs> and he knew, Tamika, they love lamb. Now, I don't like lamb. <laughs> and uh, I tell Rashad, I said, Rashad, I said, oh, ain't you gonna put, aren't you going to put the fire down? Rashad said, I got this, Mom, I got this. And he would get a whole glass of water. To try to put the fire down, but the smoke could still come. But he could barbecue, but I had to teach him a little secrets to it. But um, he ate some lamb, and then I told him, I said, well, you know what? I don't eat lamb. But the last thing Richard said when he ate that lamb, he said, bad. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay, see, you're wrong for that. And the, the, the awesomest thing else was he always loved old school music and i used to tell him i say oh i went i always go baby boy on him if y'all seen the movie baby boy i always go boy what you know about that youngster he'll say mama i know some al green and stuff and i know all kind of music i love all kind of music mama that's me and he would have the biggest smile the smile that i mean I look at my grandbaby right there, She's look, she looks just like him. And when I look at her, I know that he's not gone because I see her. And that's what he would want us to do, to love, not the love that he gave us, but to love one another like God loved us. Thank you, and I love you guys. I am Gabrielle Brooks' daughter. He could not make it today, so I will speak on his behalf. It's disheartening to know that once you step foot out your door, you might not return home to your family and friends. We can't get justice if we are divided. We have to come together as one and as the people. Us as the people need to take a step to help each other love. We don't need riots, but we need people helping each other as people. We out here hating and despising each other, but we can't even love each other. We want to start riots, but we have to come together as people. 
these people looking at us like fools. Why? Because we can't even love each other. to learn every aspect of ourselves and accept the fact that we are black. Not all people will understand this, but let my Uncle Dev stand for love. And as my dad say, let's stop being horrible people. Us as humans have to live together and without rules, there is no order. But with a little more love and companionship, we would recognize that us loving each other is much more deeper and much more powerful than anything we're fighting for. <laughs> If we had a little more love and compassion for one another, we probably would not be here today. We have to love each other first. We are all we got. You cut on the news, it's always the typical black male that has been killed. We can't, <laughs> we start riots when the opposite race kill us, but what about when we do it? Not justifying neither one of these acts, but it starts with us and it ends with us loving each other. So let my Uncle Delph make us better people no matter the race. Let's treat each other how we want it to be treated as people. Let's love one another and fight for everyone's rights. Thank you. To everyone that took a little bit of your time, to love on my family, to tell his wife, thank you for letting us have him for a little bit. On behalf of my grandmother who couldn't be here, I have to tell you thank you. This young man that everybody is talking about was uniquely different to us, his family members. You couldn't stay mad with him for five minutes because he'd do something stupid to make you laugh. And he often irritated his wife to death because she wanted to throw stuff at him. And, and <laughs> it was almost comical. I could have wrote down a thousand things to say about him. Then I had to stop for a minute and think about the family he comes from. We could argue, we could fight, we could sleep 10 to one bed growing up with feet and head and arms across each other. And I looked at his big sister and my baby sister. They would be the best of friends five minutes later and be putting on each other how the next. This is the family that we come from. We didn't have a lot of anything, but we had a whole lot of love for each other. They say black lives matter. I don't say that. I say all lives matter. Because this is the type of person my little cousin was. He would love on anybody. He would help anybody. He would fight with anybody. He didn't really care about any of those things. All he wanted to do was smile, crack jokes, dance a little bit, and live. So when we sit in here and we look at one another, we have to be thankful for what we got while we got it. Because when it's gone, all you can sit around and think about is what you ain't got no more. 27 years. You know, they predicted one time that the average black man would only live to be 21. He beat your hearts. Maybe not by much, but he beat him. He leaves behind a legacy that a lot of us as fathers would never get to leave behind. His children get an education. His wife gets a brand new car, life insurance. Some of us would be just happy to be able to go to work and be able to pay the bills. So for all of us that are still here, throw away your grudges. My cousin didn't live that way. 
And if you're worried about the skin color and you feel like you've done the adequate job that they pay you to do, not according to my tax dollars. People marched and died and shed blood, my precious black folk blood, so that we would have the opportunity to vote, to be considered equal, to be able to say we can go in the same restaurant that you go in. Not be afraid to come outside and say, oh, that's a white police officer. I'm going to go back there next, next time. I love my black people. I'm proud of my black people. And no matter how many times they try to beat us down, we still stand up as black people. So to my sister that took out her time in spite of her own battles, the love on her family. I know you didn't want to be up here and I know you weren't looking for certain accolades, but this family thanks you. To my cousin's wife that got to keep going, you know, you can call your big cousin anytime, I don't care. If you need baby wipes, I'm gonna wipe for you. If you need a shoulder to cry on when your brother-in-laws can't stand in the gap for you, you know you can cry on mine. I don't care nothing about no wife. But to all of you that are sitting here around the world, to those people that are Atlanta natives, I love my city. And ain't no white, black, blue, green, or nothing going to make me say nothing different about it. I'm a real West Side rider, a real West Side baby. And in this house that God built, to my God Almighty, thank you for my cousin for a little while. Thank you to everybody that came. I love you. God bless you.